Hey guys, I'm Josh, founder of Product Expert, and today I wanna to share with you four different product research strategies that you can use on our app, regardless of what e-commerce platform you're selling on. On to our first product research strategy, and that is to use Amazon's movers and shakers list, which is really just the trending products recently on Amazon. We will identify a product opportunity based on some criteria, and then we'll validate that opportunity within Product Expert. So I'll bring up the Amazon movers and shakers list, and you can access this by going to amazon.com, click all, and then you'll see movers and shakers right here. Now let's talk strategy for today. We are looking to identify one of these products that are shown here that have less than 500 reviews, and they are within the first 10 within one of these uh, movers and shakers categories. And the idea here is if we find a product that is trending very high over the past 24 hours and only has a couple hundred reviews, that typically means there's low competition in that niche in very high demand, which is really the sweet spot for any e-commerce product opportunity. If at any point you want to click a certain category such as pet supplies, you can do so on the left-hand side and just look at pet supplies uh, for the movers and shakers list. We'll go back to any department and I'm going to take a second and just look through the top 10 out of each of these to see if we can identify a product opportunity. Great, so there was one in the baby section here on the main page that caught my attention, and it's this one that's number four. It's risen uh, in sales rank by 79% over the past 24 hours, and it's called a nasal irrigator for baby. Now I'm going to click this, and I'm gonna show you how to find the product niche that we're going to type in into a uh, product expert. So there's two ways. Typically, in the title, you'll end up seeing it as the first keyword phrase, and it identifies the product. So that's nasal irrigator for baby. So I'll go ahead and copy that. Another way to find this is to go to the category and subcategories and to find the furthest one, which is nasal aspirators. So you could potentially type in nasal aspirators for baby, or you can type in this keyword phrase of nasal irrigator for baby. Okay, so we'll go ahead, we'll click copy, and then let's go back to product expert. We'll go to our search bar, we will click paste. There's the product niche of nasal irrigator for baby. Let's see if there's an opportunity within this. Okay, so it is a favorable opportunity. However, it only has stable demand and medium competition. Uh, not exactly what we're looking for. Now we can go a step further. We can read some insights. We can also look at differentiation strategies, but I'm going to scroll down to the expert product ideas and to see if there's maybe a similar product or an accessory in this category of products, which um, will allow us to just stand out a little bit further and it has lower competition. So let's go ahead and click this one, baby nasal moisturizing gel. So it ties into that nasal irrigator product. However, this is something to use after the fact or maybe some type of proactive measure um, parents can take by applying this gel. All we have to do is click the search icon. It will take a second to load and rerun the report. And look, just like that, competition went from medium to low. This is really what we're looking for for an optimal product to have low competition, a favorable opportunity, and then market demand. It would be great if it was increasing, but stable's still pretty good. Moving on to strategy number two, and that is to use Google Trends and Glimpse in order to identify product opportunities, and then again, validate them with Product Expert. Here's Glimpse, and this is how you can download it for Google Chrome. Um, it is a Google Chrome extension that takes Google Trends and really just supercharges them for e-commerce sellers and anyone who's looking to analyze um, data just one step further. You can download this and add it to your um, Chrome browser by clicking Add to Chrome, which will be shown here and also put a link in the description. Now let's go ahead and let's uncover the strategy. So we'll go to discover trends here to see, try to find some trending products. Um, and then let's stay within the home category. You can go ahead and click any of these categories and then find subcategories to the right hand side. But we'll go with home and let's say we want to sell uh, something in the kitchen, home and kitchen on Amazon. We'll click kitchen. Now we see a bunch of keyword phrases, AKA product ideas for our case, um, of products that have been trending. I like to go to the growth year over year and click this so we can see things in a descending order. And once we do that, I can see the second one here is something that I would be and you know actually interested in. This is silicone air fryer liner. So if I go ahead and I copy that, we'll go back to product expert and type this idea in. Let's see if this is a uh, favorable opportunity, if it has increase in demand, and look at that. That is the ideal scenario with strategy number two. We immediately found by using Glimpse and Google Trends and then using Product Expert, a low competition, increasing demand, favorable product opportunity. So silicone air fryer liners, 
you know, if it were me, this is going to be a great opportunity for your first product or maybe just another product you sell if you have a kitchen brand. As always with the expert plan, we can go down to the expert product ideas and we can see some uh, different type of product ideas that uh, we could sell within this product niche. Awesome. Up to this point, we've uncovered two different strategies that really relate to a new and aspiring e-commerce seller is looking for maybe their first product idea or maybe their second or third. Uh, now I wanna share with you a product strategy that you can use if you're an existing Amazon or Shopify or Walmart seller that will help you to identify that next product. For this example, let's say that we have a clothing brand in men's clothing. We sell t-shirts, we sell jeans, we sell just about everything, but it's tailored towards men. So I'm gonna type in men's clothing and click generate. Now I'd imagine with this broad category um, product idea that we just typed in as expected, it's not gonna be that favorable of an opportunity and that's what we expected, right? Now we'll move on to the expert product idea section as we've done before and this is really where the creativity can come from. So we're thinking, how do we expand this product line? What can we do differently? Product expert has your back. The model will share with you three different product ideas, in this case, custom tailored suit accessories, premium leather jacket care kit, that seems pretty interesting, and vintage men's denim collection. So I'm curious for this scenario, let's say you know we have this current product line of men's clothing. What if we went ahead and we looked to sell a care kit for the jackets that we sell in men's clothing? Uh, this, is per this is a perfect idea, and I'm curious how this is going to um, actually perform. So I'll click search. We saw slightly better results, right? Our competition level got better. Opportunity went to favorable, but it's not you know, necessarily ideal. It's not, it doesn't give us that assurance that, yes, this is going to be a home run. All right, and I can always type in men's clothing again to start the search again and to look at three different product ideas. And as we can see here, we have eco-friendly men's underwear, custom tailored men's suits, and men's performance dress shirts. Let's go ahead and click this one, and then we'll see if there's a better opportunity and it looks like there is. We have better demand. We still have the same competition level compared to the previous product. And ultimately, we have a favorable opportunity. So for an existing seller, they could expand their product line into men's performance dress shirts, uh, which may be something they're not currently selling. On to our final and fourth product research strategy. And this is really for those expert and existing e-commerce sellers, uh, those who have the larger software packages that really allow them to dive into all the analytics behind all these product ideas. So we can go ahead and we can find a niche in one of these existing uh, product research packages and software. And then we go ahead, take that niche, and let's see if we get similar results that are also um, shown here in Product Expert. So the first one, let's look at a bad idea. That is the Flying Fidget Spinner. So one of the leading software packages, it identified this as a horrible opportunity. And we also see that horrible opportunity shown right here. We have high competition, decreasing demand, and it's ultimately unfavorable. This is one, regardless if you're a new seller, existing seller, stay away from. It's very easy to identify that. And this also is accurate um, in comparison to some of the leading software packages as I showed you the SNP there. Okay, so that's great, but let's go ahead and look at a good opportunity. Let's see if it can do both. So a good one that I found, as you can see, is the pet hair remover for laundry. Go ahead and click generate, and hopefully we have good results. And it looks like we do. We have increasing demand, favorable opportunity, and just uh, medium competition. So this is a great way to just validate your product ideas one step further. If you're someone who likes to look through thousands of data points and all these different one-year, two-year search volume charts, um, you can take that product idea and just give yourself an additional assurance with AI that yes, this product's good. No, this product is not. All right, thank you for watching. And if you still need some more information on our product research tool here, go ahead and watch one of the videos in the end screen now, which will take you into a deeper dive of the product.